Hi guys, I am coming to you guys with uh, one of my, my favorite videos that I've been meaning to upload for you all. And I know I have on the same shirt that I had in my last video, but I'm going to work again. And it's just weird that I threw on the shirt the same day that I'm going to record another video. But anyways, let's get right into this video. Um, I, can, I can already tell that you can see by the title above that this is going to be a how to make um, American flag short. I was supposed to upload this video um, on July the 4th for you guys or like the night before but my boyfriend was here and I was running around and I was trying to make a pair for my co-worker and I actually have a video of the ones that I made for my co-worker instead of mine but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my so you can see how I made mine. Mine are actually high-waisted hers weren't they just look like this. I absolutely adore and love these. Um, I got so many compliments on these during the, um, on the 4th of July because they're just really creative and different. Um, they're really cool and I just love them. So yeah, this is how my pair look, but on the recording is gonna be a pair that I made for my coworker. So you guys get to see both, um, which is really cool. So yeah. These were actually just a pair of vintage high Levi's that I bought. You guys probably seen in another one of my videos. And I decided, um, since I don't really wear these as much, um, to just make them into the American flag. Okay, so what you're going to need for um, this DIY is an American flag. I got mine from the dollar store. Um, I only paid a dollar. I got it from Dollar General. So that was a, a really good price. And I like the material because it's bold and it's like you can really see it. Like I like it. So yeah, you're going to need a flag. You're going to need some scissors and fabric glue. Now you, you can sew it if you have a sewing machine, but I found it hard to sew. Um, I broke my needle actually trying to sew it because um, it's hard to get in between the cracks and sew. So I just decided to go with some fabric glue. That's why I had bought fabric glue. And this one is okay to wash it. This is actually permanent fabric glue. So if you do wanna wash it, um, you know, wash your shorts or whatever, you can, you can throw them in a washer because this glue is gonna be, <laughs> I keep sneezing. But what was I saying? Oh, this glue is gonna be permanent. Um, permanent fabric glue so it's going to be great for you to be able to use of me I didn't actually record a whole video of me doing it it's just a couple clips so you can see um, the gist of it um, I hope you don't mind um, I was trying to rush and do it because my boyfriend was on his way and I had to go pick him up so and my my coworker was trying to wear it the night before and so that's why I had just you know tried to record a small video so that you guys can see it but you guys will get the gist of it and I hope you would still enjoy the video and I hope you all have a great day hello lovely youtubers okay so we're gonna start off by cutting the um laying the pants flat on the ground first and cutting them and then we're going to fold them over and, you know, just make sure that you are cutting the other half the same way. Because you don't want it your, you know, one side to be longer than the other. Okay. Um, so I'm just cutting those. And I wanted to not leave the edges so straight looking. So I decided to um, roll her, you know, pants legs up just to make it a little bit more clean. A clean look and not just a cutty edge look. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. <laughs> and so now you're going to take your flag that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video and you're just going to cut that little, you know, um, little rod off so that you can, you know, get to the whole flag. And I'm just going to cut the stars part out first. Because that's what I'm going to start with is the stars. Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right. And so I'm going to cut the other side because, uh, yeah, because that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> All right. So I ripped that thing off. Oh, and I got a little string caught, and so I cut it off. All right, now what you're going to want to do is, you know, take this side that you want the stars to be on, and I picked my left side because I just felt like 
you know, that's right. And you want to take the pins and um, pin it down. If you don't have any pins, that's okay. Just make sure that, you know, everything stays in place so that you know where to cut. This is just going to help me um, be able to know, like, where to cut at and not to um, mess up my jeans or anything and to keep the fabric to stay in place. And don't poke yourself, ladies or gentlemen, because this can really be hard trying to get into the cracks and putting the pins in. So be very, very careful. You know, if you're young, then, you know, have someone help you do that. All right, so now I am going to cut the um, cut around the edges, the perimeter of the shorts of the fabric. Um, yeah, cutting, cutting, cutting. And here I am cutting off the last little piece. Now you want to take your okay to wash glue, which is some permanent fabric glue that I got from Hobby Lobby. No, I'm just kidding. I, I got it from Joanne Fabric. Sorry about that. But I'm sure they do have it at your local Hobby Lobby. What I'm doing is folding the edges over so that it'll give it a more clean look. And I'm just gluing it down. Be careful. Do not put too much glue. You don't need that much glue because um it'll see through the fabric. So just put a little bit of glue. A little bit goes a long way, I promise. And you can just use like another piece of fabric if you don't want your hands to get all sticky just to press down on the fabric with the glue. Alright, so I'm just going to keep going um, and, you know, do the rest the same way. And I'm going to do the other side the same exact way. Just cut out your stripes and you're going to pin it down. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Like, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see how these shirts, shorts came out. They look really cute on Instagram. And I'll talk to you guys later.